to begin, here is one side of the rear sway bar link. And uh, uh, let's see, right in there, right there is the bushing. So there's the link. Well, let me get back a little bit. There's the link. Let me actually pull it all the way back. So let's see. So there's the link. And slightly behind, there's the bushing. Alright, so I'm gonna go pull on one of these links. Watch the car still kinda hot, so I'm gonna watch it. I'm gonna pull on one of these links here so you can see or hear the sound. So obviously this is gonna make a lot of noise when I'm driving. Oh well, well make a lot of noise when I'm driving. And that's what I've been hearing. The really annoying sound. Oh yeah, this one's definitely bad. And the funny thing is that I replaced these not too long ago. And these things are already, I think I might have replaced this one wrong. Uh, so we're gonna try to fix that today. But, yeah, that's definitely bad. All right, let's get them off. All right, YouTube, so here are the tools you're gonna need. Let me zoom in for you. Uh, you're gonna need a 14 millimeter, just, you know, normal wrench, I guess. Gonna need a, a socket 14 millimeter, and these are gonna be for your uh, sway bar links. And then this one over here, the 13 millimeter, is gonna be for the uh, sway bar bushings in the back. And I had to figure out to get those off because um, I think I might need an extension, but we'll we'll get to that once we start taking that part off. And we'll spin this so that it gets locked into place where it can't move, and then you can get it off. Just unbolt it like that. This is the broken part. I think this part was the one that was sliding on the sway bar link or on the sway bar itself, causing it to creak. It's going to be the same on the other side. I wonder if I actually did these right. All right, YouTube. So I made a discovery. So when I originally replaced this sway bar link on both sway bar links, I did it wrong. Uh, I had these two pieces squished together below the bar, had this piece and these two pieces squished together above the bar. So this piece, which is, which is damaged, as you can see here, this piece was what was getting rubbed on by the sway bar. And it, it nearly, it nearly, well, it basically snapped. Uh, not the whole link, but the little roller piece in the middle snapped. So what's supposed to happen when you're putting this together is that, let's pull this off here. Just to give you an idea. So I did this right. Let's put this down here for now. So I did this right. So obviously you're gonna install the screw you have the washer it's gonna go on so washer then the boot so then you insert it into the sway bar link right this piece will go on top of the portion of the sway bar link and that's where the sway bar link sits on like that it's then closed off by a washer so on these little rubber grooves here they're there's an insert that you can see that's all smushed together. That's supposed to be facing the other insert for the other rubber groove. All right, so I got the new one out of the box. So that's how we're gonna set it up. We got washer, bam, going in. You need to have flat side touching washer flat. And here's the kicker where I messed up. That you need to have this washer, but not washer, but rubber piece on top of the sway bar touching like so which will be completed uh oh so that's that's I guess called lip it's called a lip side lip and lip are touching see that let me turn it so you see that lip and lip are touching and then you'll take this piece flop it on bam all right You'll then insert the spacer. Once you've inserted the spacer, you 
will then insert a washer. Once you've inserted the washer, you then take the uh, rubber piece, flat in down, like so. Then you take another one, lip down, and just drop it. Wow. Put that one in for the bloopers. Flat in down, or lip down, or should I say kissing. Then you want to put one more washer on top, like so. And make sure that it's uh, contouring to the rubber piece. And then you install the nut. Just like so, and that's how you make it. So we're gonna put this on the car. All right, YouTube, I'm just gonna give you a comparison between the two to show you the difference. I paid $8 for the one on the left, or the blue, and I paid $30 for the kit, including the uh, sway bar bushings for this one. The one on the right is much better in quality. I mean, you'd have to, uh, you should be even to see it. Uh, it's much better, it feels much more solid build quality. Uh, and it's a lot larger, so this should, I should see a difference in my handling, turning corners, you know, going 50 million miles an hour, turning corners, I should be able to see a difference in, in, my, in my handling, uh, but let's get them on the car. So what I had to do was I had to get in here and pry, you pry this little piece up, and you can push to get it off, let's keep prying until it comes. like so that's how you get that off and you just push this piece off and that bushing will be done and these bushings here are 15 years old probably 16 as of the video 16 year old bushing not bad for it not bad anyway I want to put this together and start reinstallation all right YouTube so here's how it's supposed to look. So you need to have the washer, rubber piece, uh, rubber piece under the bottom, washer, spacer, space, uh, spacer, washer, rubber piece, meets rubber piece. Uh, so you can press those two down, and then you have washer and then your nut. That's how the link's supposed to go. Uh, and I go, go back here and tighten up my sway bars. Uh, Sweet bar bushing to tight these to, to spec. I believe it was like 56, 56 foot. And these you just want to torque them even. Uh, you don't you don't want these to compress too much, and when they start compressing, you want to stop and you're done. Okay, so YouTube, the last thing I've done is I've marked, let's see if I can focus this. So I've marked the location um, to where I've tightened the bolts down so that if it you know, comes on, comes loose due to vibration. I'll know when I look up under the car to see if, to see if it's come loose, uh, or if it's, you know, the bol the bolts have loosened up a little bit. Uh, I don't think they will, but you never know. So it's a good practice to put a little color on your your markings here to see if your bolts are loosening up. Anyway. That's it. When that being said, YouTube, that's it. That is the change for sway bar links and sway bar bushings. Another job that you can do yourself. Get to it. I'll see you in the next one.